This week on Simply Ming, we're cooking at home, hence Simply Ming at home. We're doing a smoked salmon okonomiyaki. Oh yeah, it's so good. It has fennel and the classic Worcestershire on top, and then a vegan version of it. It's rice flour based, gluten free as well, with shiitakes. And we're starting it off with a cucumber sake tini, and we're also doing a non-alcoholic cucumber mint spritzer. And I have a very special sous chef cooking with me, the one and only Henry Sai. It's all coming up next on Simply Ming. Cucumber sake tini, all right? Henry, so I'm gonna do the regular one, then you're gonna do the opposite. Yes, chef. Please fill this with ice for me. Actually, no, I'm sorry, don't do that, my bad. Pick me five mint leaves, please. So I'm gonna put cucumber and mint in a shaker. We're gonna muddle it. So it's kind of a sake martini, if you would, although I'm gonna put it in a tall wine glass. We have some wine glasses here that are chilling, right? We want to get the glassware cold. All right, five mint leaves in. Cucumber slices in. All right, and do the muddling, man. So yeah. he's gonna muddle up. What's that? That's taking the oil out of the mint, and it's getting nice juices out of the cucumber. So obviously, the martini is not gonna be clear, right? Because the cucumber juice has some color to it. How's it going? It's going pretty good. Very meditative, I gotta say. <laughs> <laughs> All right, some fantastic sake. You can take that out if you don't mind. Just make sure it's delicious drinking sake, obviously. And then the highest quality vodka you can find. A little bit of that. All right, Henry, now I'll take a scoop, please, of ice. Yes, chef. And then we're just gonna shake, shake the dickens out of this, so to speak. One more, one more. Okay. All right. Henry, dump out my, my glass there. Yes. You can dump both out, yep, you can dump both out. Thanks for tuning in, guys. So it's really nice and cold, you get nice and frosty like that. Okay, open it up. Awesome. I'm gonna take my strainer, and we go like this. Oh yeah. One more mint leaf, Henry, please, as a garnish. Yes, chef. All right, that is the real drink, but I'm gonna do a toast with Henry. Henry, we're gonna repeat. I'm gonna All dump right. this out, if you don't mind. Same thing. Actually, 10 mint leaves for you, please. Okay. Because that's going to be what you're going to want. And it give you two extra slices of cucumber. Wow. Yeah. We're really, <laughs> really going ham today, huh? <laughs> Dude, you're VIP. You're wow. VIP. This is just the true Ming Tsai hospitality treatment. I love We're going to add a little bit of brown sugar, all right, to muddle this. So I will do the muddling options here. Like this. All right, in this case, Henry, we're gonna shake it again. I'm gonna put the ice in here. Yeah, give me some ice in here. Thank you. All right, a little bit, just a little bit more. I wanna get it nice and cold. Now here, I'm gonna add some sparkling water, just a little bit to shake to get the flavors out. Because obviously, you know what happens when you shake sparkling water. Uh, it carbonates. It gets flat, Yeah. right? But I just wanted to give a good shake like that. It's got a nice color to it. And then on top of that, we put more sparkling. Voila, Henry. Wow. Cheers to you. Amazing. Cheers Yours you. is bigger. Yeah, you know. Mine is stronger. Cheers to you. Mm. Ooh. Oh, that's good. You like? I like that a lot, yeah. You do? It's really refreshing. Thank you, this is delicious. The base of the okonomiyaki is the most important thing. Bring all this over for me, Henry. Yes, chef. We have two uh, cups of all-purpose flour here. We're gonna add smoked salmon to it. Traditional okonomiyaki has shrimp, lobster. Um, we're using smoked salmon. So to the uh, all-purpose flour, baking, Powder, have to have that, why? Uh, so it 
you know, rises, adds more air, something exactly. like that. Exactly. Uh, two eggs in here, four all day. All right. Like this. Trash can over here, Hen. Not bad. You could almost work at McDonald's. Almost. You got it? I got All right. it. We're going to mix this up. And Henry, I'm going to have you start slicing and dicing, all right? Yes, chef. Because you add veg to an okonomiyaki, right? So, Henry, I want you to, let me cut this in half. I want super, the core's there, mm -hmm. as thin as you can go. Shred it, please. Tell me right? that. Oh, you can go thinner than me. Yeah. I think so. Wise guy. At least thinner than. All right, so we have shredded carrots we're going to add. We're going to add scallions. We're going to add cabbage. And we're going to add fennel. So it's a fennel smoked salmon, okonomiyaki. So I'm just mixing the eggs in with the flour. Don't worry that this gets chunky, guys, because we're going to add liquid to this, right? So we're using vegetable broth. So we're going to add some vegetable broth. And what you want to do, and I'm going to grab a whisk, because you want to mix this nice and smooth like it's a pancake batter, all right? So let me switch this out with the whisk. Chef, do you want me to do this other half? Um, yeah, we'll need it for the second okonomiyaki. Sure. All right. So again, this is still a little thick. I can tell. You see that? So we're going to go a little bit thicker like that. All right. There we go. That looks pretty darn good. All right. So to this, we're going to add what, we're gonna add half of this cabbage here. It's gonna, this bowl's gonna get really full, which I love. So half of that cabbage goes in. Carrots go in. Very nice, Henry. Thank you. I also want you to knock out some scallions for me. Can do. Whoa, which way? this is thin, Henry? Okay, that one was a fluke. That, no, 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 don't show me. That, that's okay, that's okay. <laughs> it's okay, no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like this is being broadcast or anything. Okay. Again, I'm working good. on it. I'm working on it. It's all good. Here, do these scallions for me. All right, just regular <laughs> slices. Uh, thin. Thin. Whites and greens? Whites and greens is fine. Okay. All right, so guys, look, I'm mixing in the cabbage, the carrots. We're going to have the scallions. And then once we get it on the griddle, i lucky enough to have a griddle behind me that's heating up. You can use a cast iron pan. You can use a nonstick pan. All of those would work. All right, so the veg is gonna exude a lot of water when it cooks, right? So you just need to coat it. And this kind of pancake batter just brings it together, right? You see how it's nice and kind of like homogeneous? That's all you need. I don't want a lot of batter, right? I'd rather eat more veg. All right, give me some scallions in there, please, Henry. Yes, chef. There we go. Very nice. Cool, Get a little, that's a little bit more. A little bit more. All right, so now, just as always, a little salt, a little pepper. Okay. All right, and you keep mixing that up. So now, I'm going to come over here. Nice hot griddle here, guys. See this? Just going to put oil. And we're going to take a good bunch of this. Oh, yeah. Like that. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make one big one for us, Henry. All right, so that's cooking up. What we're gonna add to that is some smoked salmon, right? So here we have some smoked salmon. I'm just gonna kinda, just kinda break it up, lay it in like that. And you know what, Henry? I forgot to add the fennel, because there's fennel and salmon. So I'm just gonna break this fennel down real quickly. This is the joy of uh, live cooking, Henry, <laughs> right? If you screw up, you will constantly be judged. Okay, like that. So we're gonna add some life, some fennel, just a little bit, and I'm gonna make sure it gets into the batter. Okay, and that's gonna cook down, because this, of course, is gonna be flipped. So, let's make the sauce, Henry. Yes, sir. Traditional okonomiyaki sauce is a mayonnaise-based sauce. It's actually Worcestershire, right? Worcestershire. 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 So that's all it is. Mayonnaise, grab me a spoon there, mister. Please. All right, put that in. Give me a little salt and pepper, please, Henry. All right. All right, if you have some scallions. Perfect. Fantastic. 
Perfect. A little bit more. All right, let's give this a try. Oh yeah, perfect. Check this out. All right, Ichi Nee's son. Ooh, that's a big one. Let me grab a second. Ichi Nee's son. Whoop. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my God, I'm gonna push it down because there was that raw fennel. Do you guys remember? Because I forgot to add it. I'm sorry. Henry forgot to add it. Uh, excuse me, is this excuse my me. recipe? Uh, is this my show? Oh, mm -hmm. not simply Henry. I forgot yeah. it, Henry. So I'm pushing it down to get the, get the fennel caramelized. Another five minutes, that's gonna be good to go. Fantastic, Henry, you're doing good there. Huh. You know, Henry, sure is hard cooking at home with you, you know? <laughs> it's <laughs> sure hard living with you, I guess. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be five minutes. So I'm gonna get a couple of, couple of plates for us, Henry. And we can, uh, we can go throw it back on the stick, sir. We will start the second dish, which very similar technique, but gluten-free and vegan. Okay. Do me a little bit more scallions. Just a little. Yep, nice and thin for me, please. Okay. So here's our Worcestershire, or the uh, mayonnaise, right? Store-bought mayonnaise, that's okay. That's not cheating, that's smart. Real mayonnaise, make sure it's real mayonnaise. And how do you know it's real mayonnaise? It'll say it has egg, oil, and maybe spices. That's it, that's real mayonnaise. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and start prepping some shiitake mushrooms. Probably my favorite, would you, would you say that, Henry? Uh, yeah, honestly. I probably, I probably eat shiitakes more than any other mushroom. Yeah, shiitakes, my takis. My takis, I love. Yeah. You guys were just twisting off the, uh, just twisting off the stem. You can save the stems, absolutely, for, for if you're making stock. They're just a little chewy if, it's, if you're cooking it. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna cook up a little bit the shiitakes. These I can't add raw, like I did like the smoked salmon or for shrimp, because those will cook. Shiitakes take a little bit more heat and a little bit longer because they get a, they're a little chewy raw, right? Yeah. So we're Not gonna flavor them too. They have a great umami, deep flavor. However, it definitely needs some garlic and ginger. So we're gonna cut some of that up too. And then we're gonna saute these shiitakes up. Check my okonomiyaki real quickly, will ya? Will do. So here guys, we're just cutting up these shiitakes nice and thin, all right? Let me move that spoon. That would probably be a little better. You want nice and thin shiitakes. You can stack them, right? When you do shiitake, you can do like two at a time. I think that's fine. Chef, How's that this looking? Looks, this looks like it's ready to be flipped. Or flipped again or ready to go? Flipped again. Is it darker than the other side? It is darker than the other side, yes. This is ready to go. Oh yeah. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Smoked salmon cooked through. Fennel, I love that. See how the fennel got all caramelized? That is awesome. That is good to go, Henry. Plate this up. I love how the, the smoked salmon got cooked through. And I love how the fennel got all caramelized. Look at that. Ah, I think that's looking really good. All right, so that's that. Come on, here we're gonna garnish this up here, Henry. I'm gonna show you how we do this. This is easy now. This is the part I love with the okonomiyaki. Just take a spoon, take this, and kind of do lines across like this. All right, a little bit more like this. Oh yeah, more scallions on top. That's what we got. Smoked salmon fennel okonomiyaki. That looks good, dude. Round two. Right. So I'm gonna mince some ginger, guys. So guys, with ginger, all you do is make thin slices, right? Julienne, and then mince it, okay? And then with garlic, are you gonna smash it, Henry? Uh, I mean, I can, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's smash just a mince. it, then mince. Yep. All right, will do. So this is for the shiitakes, guys, all right? We're gonna saute garlic and ginger, and then we're gonna add the shiitakes, and then that's gonna go inside of our vegan, gluten-free okonomiyaki. Uh, and you're probably asking, well, what about the mayonnaise? That's a great question. We have fake mayonnaise, 
which, sorry, I'm so low, fake mayonnaise, which exists. And that's, so uh, we're gonna make kind of a spicy mayonnaise. And we can have, they have these fake liquid eggs now, uh, made from bean, uh, mung bean. Yeah, mung bean. Which is right. really good. All right? <laughs> okay, come on. Just going for a rough, rough there you go. That's all you need. anyway. Yep. Perfect, put it in here. Awesome. Ding. Lots of ginger. I'm, I'm plying this with ginger. This is about one and a half tablespoons. I wanted extra gingery. So, since it's not a super hot flame, I'm using olive oil. If I was wok stirring it, I would need uh, my favorite oil, grapeseed oil, right? So, just get that in there. Get that sauteing a little bit, just to sweat it down. All right, get a little salt and pepper. Again, guys, this is, instead of the smoked salmon, we're doing this with shiitakes to build some umami, right? Mushrooms have so much great umami. Grab these mushrooms now. Boom. There we go. All right, guys, so here I added a little bit of tamari. You can see how tamari makes it almost look meaty in flavor, right? So we just gotta cook this down a little bit. Let this go. I am gonna use the same spatula, so if this is for a celiac, of course you'd have to change your spatula, right? So I'm gonna just do half the amount, just so we can make one batch. So, liquid eggs. That's like one, two. So again, I'm gonna see if it comes together. I might add one more. Um, it's a little bit guessing game with liquid eggs. I actually like them. When you use them, to, when you use them for scramble, they actually taste <laughs> almost like real eggs. It's unbelievable. Same thing. So I have my baking powder here. I'm gonna use half of it, right? I think this baking powder is so key, it really helps make the okonomiyaki super light. Okay? Mix that in. Then, veg broth, right? Store-bought, guys. It's fine. It's fine to buy store-bought. Uh, if you are going to make your own veg broth, even better. Dried mushrooms is awesome. Just boil mushrooms, the dry shiitakes, and then all you do is then let it sit overnight in the mushrooms, and that's how you can make mushroom broth. All right, let me grab a whisk real quick. Okay. So, same thing, right? Pancake batter consistency. Going to add cabbage, like before. We're gonna add scallions. We're gonna add carrots. And we're gonna add shiitakes. Oh yeah. That's about half. Ah, oh, we'll add them all, Henry. Why, Why not? not? You love mushrooms. This, this, is, this is the recipe for double, I'm just making a double shiitake portion because we can, right? So now here, again, Mix this all in. You just need that batter to kind of glue this all together. Same technique you just saw. I love this, guys. I love okonomiyaki because either batter you make, gluten or no gluten, you can add anything to it. Any raw veg, watercress, spinach, celery, right? Just know that some, some will exude more liquid when you cook it, so just keep that in mind. Cabbage is great. It's the classic. But then the proteins, lobster, shrimp, all types of fish, fresh clams, probably out of the shell, oysters, ground beef, ground sausage. Why not? All right, hen, let's go cook. So now here we have version two. I have not seasoned it. So put a little salt, put a little pepper. Okay. Loving this. So now, oil. Oh yeah, here we go, Henry. We'll do, we'll do one. Oh, even though this is a half batch, ah, let's do the whole thing. Come on. All right, let's push that down. Look at that. This is gonna be even bigger than the first one we made, Henry. 
Can't make it too big, because then the El Flippo will be tough. Ah, uh, yes. The bulldozer, as I prefer to call it. <laughs> the bulldozer? <laughs> the snow I like that. Oh, God. Cheers are good. So. So, um, let's talk about oil, Henry, a little bit, right? Here, because um, we're searing, but not a wok stirred super hot. Super hot, you, the oil I always use is grapeseed oil. Why? Why? Because it's got a great nutty flavor and also high heat. High smoking point. High smoking point. High smoking point. If you add extra virgin olive oil in a hot wok, it will smoke. And then that causes it to taste bitter. So that's no bueno. Grapeseed has a great nutty flavor without nuts and it has a super high smoking. Safflower oil has a great smoking temperature, high smoking. So does peanut oil. But nowadays with all these allergies, including your brother David, who's have a ton of them, um, we've basically eliminated peanut oil. I think almost every Chinese restaurant in America has eliminated peanut oil. Because it's just, it's, it's too hard. Once you walk through with peanut oil, it's everywhere. But grapeseed is my go-to. I use a ton of extra virgin olive oil for vinaigrettes, for finishing, you know, on top of carpaccio, putting it on top of meat that's been cooked. Um, and I do cook with it, um, but just not super high temp. All right, how about the old flippo? Okay, let's see how we do here. This may be okay. Okay, this is, this may be a little bit hard to flip. One, Moment two, of truth. Three. Oh, right. <laughs> not bad. Not bad, honestly. Not All considering. Bad. Okay. Look at that. G, B, and D. It looks just as good as a smoked salmon, to be perfectly honest. And I like it because you can see all those shiitakes coming through. Henry, let's make a sauce. Also based on mayonnaise. But it's a vegan mayonnaise, right? Pretty good. They have flavored ones. They have aiolis. This, this one actually has a little garlic in it, but we're going to add some hot sauce. So you know I love my Asian hot sauces, right? It's sambal and sriracha and all that. So this one's a sriracha. A little bit of scallions, please, Henry. Look at that. It gets nice and red. There we go. Grab some salt and pepper. Look at that. Oh, my god. All right. Some good old vegan sriracha mayo. <laughs> yeah. Practically. It's amazing that it actually tastes really good. And again, store bought, right? The idea of cooking it at home, we don't, let's be honest, do I make veal broth and chicken stock from scratch and fish fumet? I wish. No. I don't. <laughs> um, although, when I roast chickens and roast turkeys, I will absolutely use those broths, oh, those bones to make broth. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't get a spoon. See what you think. Oh, I think I like that. I like that one more than the original. Hmm. Really? You tell me. Oh, that's good. Right? I like that. Yeah, honestly. <laughs> I mean, you can't go wrong with sriracha mayo. It really is. Probably not. Probably not. All right, Head, let's plate this one up. And we're going to be out of here. All right. Let's okay. just bring this on the plate. Oh, that's perfect. Repeat. Okay, look at this. All right, Henry, you do it. Let me see how you oh, God, garnish it up. No, just do it. There's no right or wrong. No, no, not that. Too hard. No, too fast. Too slow. Go ahead. Take your time. What? Sorry. My kids put up with a lot. Every day of my life. Mm, yeah, and? It, it tastes great, I got to say. <laughs> <laughs> eat, eat pretty good. It's worth it. <laughs> I think you did a pretty good job there, Henry. That looks awesome. Oh. Are you going to go transcontinental, too? Um, no, no, we'll try, to keep, try, it try to keep it separate, you know, pure. It's All right. parallel. Let's go. See how we did. Why don't we try... Let's try the vegan one first. All right. All right. Mmm. Oh, I like the... I like the mushrooms. I love... The garlic ginger, right? Yeah, really comes through. That really mm. just punches right. right through there. Oh my god. Wow. Big up. But when I say it punches through, it's like a kind way, a nice punch, a gentle a punch. A nice punch. Oh, a gentle punch, like a caress. Yes. All right. A caress so this is again, this is a smoked salmon okonomiyaki. Mmm. Wow. Whoa. You know what I like about that, Henry? Mm. Besides the smoked salmon, the fennel. fennel. Yeah. That cooked, so 
Always forget to add your fennel and then put it on top to caramelize. <laughs> we learned something. Nice, slightly raw flavor. Dude, great job. Okay. Thank you. thank you. And thank you all. We will see you next week. And as always, peace and good eating. Good eating. Good, good, good. Okay, okay, three, two. Peace. Peace. <laughs> okay, on, on one, three, two. Peace, peace and, and good, good eating. eating. That was so easy. Oh, God. Bye. Thank you.